so this video uh, explains on how to solve uh, for problem problem related to uh, the basic plane potential flow and uh, superposition of a basic plane potential flow okay so uh, this is basically past year for uh, January 2018 okay so January 2018 Okay, so uh, question number 2A, uh, a two-dimensional uh, inviscid incompressible flow field is described by the same function, uh, psi equal to negative 2 uh, x uh, minus y. Okay, and then uh, the question asks you to show that the continuity equation is satisfied and the flow is irrotational. And then uh, number two, uh, asking you to find the velocity, uh, velocity potential. Okay. So now um, uh, to solve for this, uh, okay. So question number two uh, a. Okay. Question number two a. So psi equal to Psi equal to uh, so the flow is uh, two dimensional uh, in V seat and then uh, incompressible. Okay, so given uh, psi or stream function is equal to negative. 2x minus y. Okay, so question asks you to find uh, to show that the continuity equation is satisfied and then irrotational. So irrotational x and y. So it is uh, omega z equal to uh, zero. Okay, so uh, first to show that the this flow is uh, satisfy the continuity equation first. Uh, then operator we multiply with the velocity vector so it is also equal to del u over del x plus del v over del y equal to zero so in order, in order to show that this uh, e uh, continuity equation is satisfied so we need to find the differential of the u of u over the x and then v over dy okay so how to find du over dx and dv over dy when the psi or stream function is given okay so remember that for the stream function for this uh, rect uh, for this uh, rectangular coordinate system uh, u equal to uh, differential of psi over dy y for v or v velocity negative d psi over d uh, over the uh, dx okay so in order to find u in order to find we need to find u because we want to, from u we want to differentiate with respect to x and then from v we want to res, uh, differentiate with respect to to y okay so u equal to uh, d psi over dy so d psi over dy you, you get uh, 2 okay and then v equal to negative uh, uh, this is u and then this is v negative uh, this side over the x so negative this side over the x you will get negative negative is positive positive u okay uh, sorry positive 2 and then the u over the x the u over the x for, uh, for 2 is 0 and then dv over dy for uh, v it is also zero okay. so uh, from this it is proven that the continuity equation is satisfied so the continuity uh, equation is satisfied okay and then uh, the second uh, not the second one so you need to prove that the flow is also irrotational. Okay, so uh, flow for the rotational 
your rotational flow omega z must be zero okay so why we need to find omega z because uh, now we are dealing with u velocity and v velocity okay so uh, you remember from chapter one so half dv over dx minus du over dy equal to zero okay so it mean that in order to 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 make this flow is irrotational uh, dv over dx must equal to du over d dy okay so uh, okay so dv over dx we have dv equal to uh, 2 okay dv over dx is uh, 0 and then du over dy is also uh, 0 okay so from this is also uh, in uh, an irrotational irrotational flow okay and then b uh, question number uh, 2 asking you to find the velocity potential okay since the flow is irrotational so you can find the uh, velocity potential okay so velocity potential equal to uh, u uh, from in order to find the velocity potential uh, we know that u equal to d v over dx and then v equal to d v velocity potential over d dy okay so d v over dx uh, we, uh, we got u okay u equal to 2 okay so d v over dx equal to 2 okay and then in order to get uh, v or velocity potential we integrate with uh, respect to x so we get uh, v equal to uh, 2x plus c okay and then for the v the uh, dv over dy we we got v equal to uh, the v over dy equal to v v is also 2 okay so integrate with respect to y you we will obtain uh, v uh, equal to uh, 2y plus c okay so the final answer for the velocity potential will be uh, 2x plus 2y plus c Okay, so this is your uh, answer. Okay, so solve for question number two, A. Okay, so now uh, proceed to question number uh, two uh, B. Okay, two B. So question number two B, uh, you have two source which is uh, one of the strength M. Okay, so for this one, it is the strength is M. And then the other the other one the strength is, the strength is 3m plus 3m so both are source are located on the y axis so this is y axis so this is the origin uh, I showed in figure here determine figure Q to B determine the location of the stagnation point uh, produced by these two uh, source okay so uh, to determine the stagnation point first you have to remember that when the stagnation point will happen when the velocity for the for this two source uh, is equal okay so mean that let's say this is uh, location one for the m uh, for the uh, for, for for this point and then this is location two okay so to satisfy the stagnation point To satisfy the stagnation point, we need uh, to we need uh, to know that the velocity, since it is a source, okay, uh, both are source, so the only velocity is radial velocity. So uh, v r one must be equal to v r v r two, okay. So one and v r one and v r v r two, okay. So 
how to find the stagnation stagnation point okay so we just illustrate that since the 3m the uh, this source uh, has more uh, strength than this uh, source which is this is this one is 3m the strength is 3m and what and then this is only 1m which is m so we can predict that the stagnation point must be in this region okay so this is this is uh, how to, to define it is uh, y stagnation okay so y stagnation okay so uh, we can uh, uh, illustrate that at this point at this distance from y stagnation we can uh, uh, identify it as uh, uh, r okay r stagnation one and then from this point uh, okay, so to this point okay so we can define it as uh, uh, r stagnation stagnation two, okay so we can uh, come up with the relation that uh, this uh, summation of r stagnation 1 okay, plus r stagnation 2 basically equal to uh, 3h plus 2 2h okay so this is the first relation okay so first relation we from this figure we can uh, obtain that uh, r stagnation 1 plus uh, R stagnation 2 equal to 2H plus 3 3H which is 5 5H okay so uh, this is uh, relation the first first relation okay so this is we we name it as uh, equation number number 1 okay so back to this uh, velocity the ready velocity we have 1 and we are 2 since it is a source okay so remember that to find the velocity or radial velocity for the source uh, m equal to uh, 2 pi r uh, v we are so we are equal to m divided by 2 pi 2 pi r okay so we are at point 1 so uh, with respect to this uh, radius of stagnation 1 so we can uh, find that m uh, m over 2 pi r stagnation 1 equal to we are 2 which is at point 2 the strength is 3m so 3m uh, 2 pi r this the, the radius is r stagnation 2 r stagnation 2 okay so we can simplify m m 2 pi and 2 pi okay so from this equation we can obtain that r uh, stagnation 2 okay basically equal to uh, 3 r uh, stagnation stagnation 1 okay so we can name it as a, a equation number number 2 Okay, so we have one equation number one and then equation number two. Okay, so now we need to determine what is our stagnation. Okay, so our stagnation one, for example, we can solve by combining equation one and equation two. Okay, so solve for uh, solve for equation one and equation number two. Okay, so equation number one, uh, R stagnation one plus R stagnation one plus with R stagnation two. So R stagnation two equal three R stagnation one, three R stagnation one equal to uh, five H. Okay, five H. So basically, uh, we can obtain that R stagnation r stagnation 1 is equal to uh, 5 over 5 over 4 
uh, h okay so this is the distance for uh, r stagnation 1 so r stagnation 1 now equal to 5 over 4 h okay so now our 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 uh, 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 objective is to find this y stagnation okay so to in order to find this y stagnation it, it is basically equal to uh, y stag uh, r stagnation 1 r stagnation 1 plus with this y stagnation y stagnation equal to 2 to h okay so y stagnation basically equal to uh, 2h uh, minus r stagnation 1 which is 5 over 4h okay so y stagnation basically equal to uh, 3 over 4h or equal to 0 0.75 H. Okay, so the value is positive. So this is the final answer for question number two B. Okay, so uh, that's all. Thank you.